Let's go out to Ashley Thompson. She is with the police chief right now with Chief Shields. Ashley, can you hear me? I can hear you. I am joined now by Chief Erica Shields. Uh, can we grab you real quick? Chief, you've been in the crowds. I know you've been talking with people. What have you been hearing and what are you saying back to them? Well, I mean, they're understandably upset. They, the events in Minneapolis were appalling. And then the next thing is you you get a Man, DA that know? comes out and why says, I don't see a no crime. Road. And it's we like, what, that, what video are you looking at? So, you know, people are understandably Atlanta. upset. Um, That's why she doing black men black men are them. routinely killed and whether it's them. by police it's or other right individuals the reality of it is we've diminished me. the value on their life and think about that you know why as a parent how is that there? I mean it's just not of course people are upset. It's, it's a recurring narrative we keep having this over and over, she's and over, trying to over. Call well how can you as chief and how can police departments come. across the country do better don't want them to come. you know what I Ain't think that the key is training the key is weeding out bad cops uh, when you especially when you see a pattern of bad behavior I think it's getting engaged with the community so that you're getting feedback real time about what your people are doing because you might think you know but then there's the side of when you're not watching body worn cameras have been tremendous because body worn cameras show us how a person is is behaving when other people aren't around and it's taken out of a lot of the gray area when we're dealing with complaints so did you expect these crowds i mean thousands of people are here I anticipated it to be large. I think that in the past we've had large crowds, similar size, and when you took take on the aggravated nature of the the murder in Minneapolis, it was. I am not surprised. How would you say it's going? I know, as you can hear, people are very frustrated. Somebody next to us is screaming. I believe tear gas was thrown earlier. How would you say this protest is going? So ironically, the guy next to me is mad because we're not taking him to jail. Um, so he's trying to get attention, so we arrest him. I don't think we shot tear gas. I think that some oak pepper spray was used on an individual. There was a fight. I know that we had some, we had an officer punched in the face. But to this point, you know what? It's, it's as orderly as something like this is going to be. It's not ideal, but my I don't I don't want this to be an arrest fest. That you know that just stokes the anger even more, and it's just it's not it's not the, the, the end result that I want. And you know it wasn't until recently that police departments and people with you know your title, police chiefs and sheriffs, speaking out about things like this before it goes to a courtroom. What's changed? I think that what for. Law enforcement is very traditionalist, and for years, law enforcement hid behind business speak, office speak, and you know, crap like it's an investigation, give us time. But you know, my opinion is, and my approach to the job is common sense. And if someone has done something that is overtly egregious and that you would deal with it swiftly and firmly in any environment, you don't treat it differently because it's a cop. And I think if you just bring common sense and open communication, um, it, it makes our profession much stronger. I think many of the major city chiefs have signed on to that and done a really good job. But, you know, you get an employee like we just saw up in Minneapolis, and you're like, to me, that's not even a police issue. You're just a really cold son of a bitch. Well, you said it there. Thank you so much, Chief Erica Shields. She's been down here on the ground speaking with protesters, and she is going further into the crowd. She is surrounded by some other officers who are trying to keep her safe right now. A lot of people are calling out to her. A lot of people are calling her name. But as you just heard, she is very vocal about how she feels about what went down in Minneapolis. She's strongly against it. And she believes charges should have been brought. So we are going to continue to stay down here in these crowds. We're going to send it back to you in the studio.